Introducing our officials for this match, our first referee, Josie Del Vasario, international referee. Our second referee is Ryan Vincent Corpus, national referee. And now the starters for the PLDT Home Fiber High Speed Hitters. Opposite hitter from the Ateneo de Manila University, number four, Jules Zamonte. Outside spiker from the University of Oklahoma, number six, Sammy Davidson. Center from Dallas South University, number nine, Kim Fajardo. Middle blocker also from La Salle, number 10, Mudjoy Pavon. Outside spiker from Central Philippines University, number 17, Fiona Cepanios. Middle blocker from the University of Santo Tomas, number 18, Jesse De Leon. Starting liberal is number 8 from the University of the East, Team Captain Kat Arado. And the head coach for PLDT is Ralph Rickaport. Center from the College of St. Benil, number two, Janelle Chang. Middle blocker from Anderson University, number five, Joy Dacoron. Opposite hitter from the University of Santo Tomas, number eight, Isa Maiso Pontillas. Outside spiker from the University of Hawaii, number 10, Brooke Van Sickle. Outside spiker from Mulan State University, number 20, Jonas Abete. Starting member of the University of Santo Tomas, number 22, Baby Love Babon. And the head coach for Petrogas is Kochi Tsutsurabara. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is PLDT versus Petrogas. This is the PDL, the heart of volleyball. And just about ready to uh, send the ball into service after Noel Zarte's introduction. Mm -hmm. Some more or less familiar faces for the uh, PLDT at side. Well, for PLDT, it's uh, the same starters for them. CAF still leading their offense. And you still have uh, Jesse De Leon and Majoy Baron on the middle side. Uh, meanwhile, for the Petragas Angels, um, uh, it's still the same lineup for them. Galdones is still starting. We have uh, um, Janelle Cheng as their setter. And again, uh, Jonas Sabete, who we mentioned earlier, exploded in that game against the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. It's uh, a career high for her, 39 points since uh, 2021 here in PVL. And she's just getting better mm -hmm. and better as the days go by. Here we go. Uh, we anticipate not just three sets. I, I feel because <laughs> it's evenly matched the yeah. two teams. Na ito. Well, this is a both teams so with the veteran players with them. And uh, for PLDT, uh, this is a test for them because uh, they won their first two games in straight sets, but those games were against a younger team. So this is their first uh, veteran team, this confidence. In the meantime, Kim Fajardo, the veteran, will be serving. As always, the setter is the initial server for both mm -hmm. sides because of the positions. Chang tries to fight for it. Pontillas is there. They will reset. Ceballos is there. This is blocked away. But we won't have uh, an early challenge. A strong start here for PLDT. Already with two to nothing as their early lead. Kim Pajardo. Serving. Sabete is there. Cheng. Arado is hard at work. Davison fires away and it's long. Oh, we're uh, seeing uh, both the setters of both teams trying to get all the balls to Van Sickle and Davison. Fortunately, too wide here for Davison. In a warm up, Nanilang, Nanilang, mga paril dito para might as well get it going. In the meantime, we have Van Sickle serve. Of course, we got to know Van Sickle in the uh, PNBF, the uh, tournament, before this particular... 
particular uh, tournament. And Sam Morales is a early report about PLDT. Go, Sam. Savvy Davison is not just focusing on the matchup against the girl you were mentioning, Brooke Van Sickle. She knows the importance of teamwork, and that's why, sabi nga ni Coach Rald, pinaghandaan talaga nila ang lahat ng members ng Petrogas. But what's interesting is these two athletes actually played against each other already in the NCAA, where Savvy was in second year and Brooke was in third year. So Savvy reached out to Brooke to check in on her before the conference started and talk about their common ground, and that is a adjusting to a new team and the level of play in Philippine volleyball. Sabi nga ni Savi, it helps knowing that someone is there for you so you can be comfortable in the new environment. Now, this is truly a special moment for the both of them. And you can witness this and more in the Filipinas Live app for just 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Ayel and Sir Sam. Thank you very much, Sam Corrales. Of course, uh, Van uh, Sickel, as well as Davidson, not the first the Filipino-Americans to play in our leagues. We've had a uh, couple of others in the past. In the meantime, back to this one, Cheng. Oh, wicked shot by Sabete. She apologizes to the other side. So we're expecting uh, Sabete to be explosive again in today's game, but a lot of power and speed in that attack. And here comes the veteran. And social media was alive with the fact that she has won a championship in every league that she has played in. <laughs> There's the uh, gentle tap. Cheng on two. Keeps it alive. Cheng makes it look so easy. In the meantime, the loaded shot by Sabete. Back to back points for uh, Sabete earlier, uh, going down the line this time. Targeting uh, zone four. Ceballos uh, could not get into the ball on time. I am amazed at her athletic ability, mm. really. Shows you how strong a woman she is, actually. In the meantime, Van Sickel keeping it in play. Too much heat, no, but it sticks the corner. You know, with the departure of uh, Gretzel, Soltones, and the Petrogas Angels, Sapete has embraced that role to be uh, that uh, leading scorer, uh, that leader in offense for the Petrogas Angels. That's a good point. In the meantime, we have a battle Close to the net. This punches through. And Sabete continues to wax hot. And uh, Cheng continues to set up Sabete, taking advantage of the loose block of Jesse De Leon. That gap has to close uh, mm -hmm. in a little more blocking wise. Jesse De Leon makes the set. Cheng reverses. Oh, Remy Palma. A great distribution so far for Janelle Cheng. Oh, spreading it well. On, on almost every sector of the floor, she has set the ball, actually. And it's a 5-0 run so far. Pontilla Center serve in play. Eisen makes it a set. Oh, Sabete! Oh, well, for PLDD, they need to find a way to slow down Sabete. We will slide into the first technical timeout. You're watching the video of the Heart of the Father. Arena Plus, Astig Sports, and you're watching the Premier Volleyball League. We are into our second match of the day. Petrogas with the early lead, 8-4. Five of those eight points have been registered by Jonah Sabete so far. And uh, there has to be a response from uh, on the part of VLDT to check Sabete. No, well, uh, exactly, because uh, right now it's very clear that Cheng has been going to Sabete a lot with some surprise plays earlier to Palma, but uh, they need to find a way to really slow down Sabete here. And it really starts in that net defense. They don't have to get the kill block, but a rebound will definitely help. 
Sebalius on the receiving end. There's a gentle tap. Palma wants it, but here goes Sabete. It is blocked out, and the rampage continues for Petrogas. Six straight points. Uh, no, five, five points. Sorry, go ahead, please. Uh, Sabete continues to be unstoppable here, finding all ways to score a point this time off the hands of Samonte. Oh, yes, indeed. Maybe what I wanted to say was six of the nine points already by Sabete. In the meantime, Jesse De Leon gets something inside. And finally, PLDT moves away from four points. Watch this. A much needed point there for PLDT, an activation in the middle. And De Leon was a big help in terms of scoring in their previous game against Next Led. 11 points for her. So they can also rely on the, their middles for scoring production here. In the meantime, the serve is an ace as Flotillas was too far away. Two straight points registered by the LDT. A short serve there coming from Samonte. Samonte serve is in play. Chang sets this up. Kita mo eh, no? sa, mm. sa pagpalo, ang lakas eh. Nung pag-recousay, patakas eh. Cheng, Sabete recycles. And no problem on the floor that time for Davidson. High up and out. Sebalios there trying to go long. And we have a challenge issued by PLDT. They need to stop this uh, run mm. by Petrogas. And uh, Sebalius was quick to say that uh, there was a check. Well, she has uh, the best perspective from that sequence because it was uh, her attack. And look at Davison uh, taking over the uh, leadership role in that huddle. That goes to show that uh, she has uh, really adjusted in this uh, PLD team. Uh, making sure that uh, it's not just her offensive presence, but also starting to be that vocal leader. I remember some of the imports that when they would come, they may too much rice. Too much rice. Let's watch this. Tough to say. Parang no. Sabi na eh. Pag hindi sigurado, pag, pag hindi mo mahalin, no way yan eh. So the challenge is not successful. Action continues. 10 to 6 is the score. Sabete will be serving for Coach Koji Chuzura Barasti. Sabete leans into the serve. And the Lion is thwarted. Oh, Palma anticipated that well. What do they like about Petrogas? This is a veteran team. Mm -hmm. They know what to do. And I think also with the new leadership of Coach Koji, who has been very active on the sidelines. Yes. Definitely a big help for them in terms of execution. Tries to make the game, I sense, very simple. Mm. Van Sickle's attempt is converted into a point. Six point lead by the Angels. Oh, Van Sickle, uh, her first point here. Then PLTT, Rodrigo Ford wants to talk to his team that has fallen behind here by six. Hindi naman ibabaw na line, eh. yung mga cross talaga visually. Pero edikit nyo ka muna. Alanganin, ano play mo ngayon? Dito kayo magkapasa para makaira siya ulit. Mabagal lang yung kanina, nire-read lang naman nire-read. Nandun na siya ko. Pwesto niya si Jesse na kabig. Sumushoot lang talaga. Ha? Ulit ha, transition tawag nyo lang agad. Dalawa lang kasi sila. Baka yung Brook mag-quattro ulit. Agad! 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 Ag and I think Tagalog is some of the, one of the easiest <laughs> to understand and to pick up on. Uh, and the guest players seem to get onto that very quickly. Look at this discussion here. Now, well, for uh, 
coach Raldrick Ford. It was a very technical timeout. Also pointing out that uh, Pedregas has only two attackers in their front line. Yep. So they only yeah, have two okay. players to guard in that oh, net no. defense. He made it sound so simple, actually. Mm. Here is that strike, and Van Sickle, rather, Pontilius is out of position more than Van Sickle. Oh, and uh, looks like uh, Team Fajardo has been trying to set up Jesse De Leon here. And the PLDT has been targeting uh, Zone 2 a couple of times already. It's something that has been working well for them, so it's something that they can actually maximize in this game. Sibalos, the veteran, is there. This one is high up. And Davison goes and takes it easily. Chang will fire, and here's Palmer with the tap. Playable. Nakun na da. Nakontilias apologizing. She was still down on her knees. Uh, but uh, she read that well. She read uh, that Davison was uh, going for that off the block. She was already on her way. Yeah, no. Pero nakaluhut siya. Mm -hmm. Chang, the whip. Palma, uh oh, they'll give a free ball to the other side. Chang. A miscue there between uh, Janelle Chang and Palma. They knew that it was going to be a running play, but Chang went for a long run and Palma with a short uh, run. So clearly a miscue there. <laughs> Let's try to decipher what Coach Koji will try to say here. Cover time, you have a mistake. Okay, no opponent team. Don't don't take a point. Okay, don't worry. Next up, one catch. Okay. You know, I was uh, in the BRBM, I was teasing Mona Pagatse, uh, who's one of the officials of the Petrogas Angels. She's not here today because she has UAA their responsibilities. I go, Mona, marunong ka na ba mag Japanese? And she seems to do a good job of explaining. But if you heard that last time out, Coach Koji seems to make it very simple. Don't worry about that error. It'll happen. In the meantime, this serve. Sails out, then it's now going to be 39 here in the first. Here's Palma who has uh, taken on the captain duty, captain's duties here for this particular conference and perhaps for the year as well. Action continues. Davison unloads. And that was a good target for uh, Davison. She was a check in the middle. And uh, this time, transitioning, just uh, going for that off-speed attack, going to zone four. Yeah, nobody was home in that particular zone. The lead has been reduced to three. De Leon will be serving. Chang close to the net. Bang, Sickles slices it in. And right now, the pace of how Janelle Cheng is setting up her attackers has been a problem in that net defense of a PLDT, always late in closing the block. Yes. Ooh. And look at this. Janelle Cheng delivers an ace. Watch this again. The serving also of uh, Petrogas has been a challenge and that passing of uh, PLDT, which, which is unlikely because uh, they're currently number one in receiving overall. Here's a tap by Baron. It does not materialize into a point. Pompilius sips it in. And that will be the 16th point that will bring Petrogas to the technical timeout ahead by six.
Good news mga kapatid, napapanood na rin tayo sa pinakabagong free-to-air channel na talaga namang sa Pinoy, ang RPTV. Ito ay uh, dapat tutukan nyo sa Analog TV Channel 9, DTT Channel 19, uh, 183 rather than say, 300 cable and satellite providers nationwide at sa signal guys. Saan mo kayo nga sa Wi-Fi? Magandang araw sa inyo, itong ating first set, lamang ang Petrogas ng anim, 16-10. PLDT po, wala pang talo sa ating tournament sa dalawang laro. Cut shot. Chang dives. Pontilla zips it in and it is long. Mind of Pontilla uh, trying to play it safe there, targeting a certain zone. But uh, too much power in that attack. But Petrogas here in a bit of a comfortable position. They have been controlling the game. That's a great point yung momentum, ano, mm. it seems to be favoring them. And here comes something, red hot down the line. You know, and uh, Sam Corrales earlier mentioned that how uh, Coach Roderick Afford uh, said uh, that uh, this is a loaded team. This is a loaded Petrogas team. The reason why they can't relax in this game. And that's why that's a dunk in Pasalubong ng Bayern spike of the set. Masipag kasi itong mm. Petro eh. Ah, binutasan sila. And Baron using that leg to burst. And that uh, power tip works for PLDT. And that's something that also worked for them against Next Led. They kept it simple. A lot of power tips coming from Baron and uh, Jesse De Leon. But right now, uh, the errors of uh, PLDT giving them a difficult time to gain momentum here. Simon Davison sends it into the net, and Petrogas beginning to make some steps towards the finish line of this opening set. Erica Santos with her serve in play. Ah, uh -uh, yep, double contact. It's a free point here for PLDD. And that's something Petrogas has to really minimize in this game. They committed 36 errors against Chocomucho in their previous okay. game, so they would want to play clean volleyball. And against Chocomucho, uh, talking to the coaches, and you can't play catch up against Chocomucho, and even Greenland. In the meantime, we've got Pontilias all set to serve. 19-13, what's a miss? Change in the lineup. Syed is in, Cheng will go out, and Milo Pablo, who was in the showcase of our video report at the top of this telecast, gets to see some action on the floor. So Milo Pablo is actually playing as an opposite attacker, a uh, different role, a different position for her this conference. It's teasing Chi Syed, new look, huh? <laughs> of course the uh, veteran no 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 yep, yep it's a check ball well uh, everything uh, working well for uh, Petragas Angels from uh, defense to offense they're converting more points they're digging they more did, balls yes. And uh, mukhang uh, mas, yung mas, mas tiba yung energy nila, no? mas masigasig sila. As Van Sigel sends it high. Pablo at work. Van Sigel at work. Here is the set by Chisayet. And it's brushed against the blockers. Again, so Bete out smarting uh, Joe Samonte in that last sequence. Maximizing the outer hand to get a point. Only it to finish the honor. There is a way in the market. I is getting it on 21 13 tally here. Say it blocked back row strike in play. Kulang ng di inam palo ng PLDT. No, here's a gentle tap. Sabete scampers for it. Free ball coming up. Davison. And the hole, hole, hole! Well, that donut hole of uh, Petragas Angels has been uh, well maximized by uh, 
the high speed hitters. Another power tip coming from uh, De Leon. Well, that was actually a good point. Uh, they would want Petrogas to rotate here because uh, they have a solid defense and Van Sickle and an explosive attacker in Sabete. So this is a really strong rotation for the Petrogas Angels. Yeah, good observation. In the meantime, we have Rhea de Makulangan. Ice cold, turning into the net. Well, the serving of uh, PLDT has been the problem all throughout this set. Nicole Chamjon will come in as a server. Chambatura and uh, Barbon have been alternating at the libero position. You, of course, can choose two liberos at the top of the game. This is still in play from Side. Hello, says Remy Palma. Daliri lang. Pwede na. Uh, you definitely can slow tip in front of uh, Palma. An easy point for the Petrogas Angels. Tapos gingitian ka pa. Masama na nga yung look. Her way of intimidating the opponent. Parang sinasabi niya. <laughs> Kita mo yan. Daliri lang yan. Sayat reverses. Pablo blasts away. Arado. And that is inside back. Inside, inside, inside. Yes. And this is a spike of the set. Brought to you by Duncan. Pasalubong ng bayo. A perfect placement for Davison. Viola, Sebalos. Good combination. Off the blocker and still in play. Sebalos gets to it. It becomes a set. Davison zips it and wipes it against the blocker. Maida. Remy Palma alert. Van Sickle. Arado also alert. And that's off the blocker. Oh, Davison attacking on top of her blockers. So we can see PLDT relying a lot on Davison in this game. Serve in play. Back row, Arado at work. Ooh. He that's just dies in the water. A miscue there. So uh, PLDT giving a lot of free points to the Petrogas Angels. And uh, the Angels are now at set point. Uh, so far showing good teamwork. We've seen a couple of uh, players coming in, going out. And right now, another uh, substitution here. Uh, Morente serving. I think some warm up. Libero, can you Abangan. Ay, nagsin man lahat ng posisyon. Pwede nila rin yan. Very good serve. It's on the net. We have somebody with a back row player. Natapos ang ating first set with that violation. And the strong serving of Petrogas has uh, really worked well for them as uh, they put uh, the PLDT high-speed hitters in out of system a lot of times, and that uh, gave them really a comfortable time. Leading all throughout that set, controlling the game. And Sabete, one of the main architects of this first set win by the Angels. And that's the count. They did it in 25 minutes. We'll be back with you quickly.
And so I yelled, it took 25 minutes for Petrogas, uh, and they were, were pretty consistent in that first set control. And you made a very good point about the fact that they were in charge of the momentum of that first set. Well, for uh, Petrogas Angels, they knew that they need to bounce back in today's game. They mentioned they were not able to execute the game plan properly in their previous game. And it really showed uh, the intention of uh, the team to bounce back today as they started strong, relied a lot on Sabete. Eight points for her in that uh, first set, but a great play making from Cheng and even Sae towards that end stretch of the set. Uh, meanwhile, on the side of uh, the PLDT high speed hitters, we mentioned it earlier, this is going to be a test for them, a test for their system. It has uh, been Davison uh, producing majority of the points for them, so someone really has to step up to contribute more as we take a look at the numbers. Uh, not a lot of disparity in attack points. 13 for Petrogas, uh, 12 for PLDT, uh, two blocks for Petrogas, none for PLDT. Both teams trying to serve strong, but it was Petrogas being successful in the department. But clearly here, PLDT committing more errors, giving away three points to Petrogas. And really, the timing of the errors has been very crucial in their end. It I always agree, comes yeah. in the service line, and that's the reason why they can't gain any momentum in that first set. So interesting as you were discussing the numbers, Remy Palma is looking at the same numbers <laughs> on the screen. And yeah, I love the fact that she has taken that captain's role mm -hmm. to heart. And we welcome you to the second set. First set going the way of the Angels. They took it with a count of 25-16. And that worked right away as Van Sigal slicing that. Now, one thing also we've noticed here in the coaching style of Coach Kuji, there's no stable starter He's always trying to mix up a Sa'et uh, place as a starter setter in this second set. He's so industrious in taking down mm. notes, actually. Kim Fajardo checks the horizon. Good set up that time. Sabete says, ay, 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 oh, ay. Now, quick transition this time for PLDT. Early activation in the middle. And we mentioned it earlier, this is something that has been working for PLDT. So they would want to make sure they get that good first ball, they get that good pass to be able to get the middles involved. Quantilius uncorks. This is rejected. This is in play. Chisayat becomes a set. Quantilius tapping it cleanly, but still very much in play. The rear attack. Lifted high, Ooh. and the first long rally ends very quickly. A miscue there between uh, Fajardo and uh, Majoy Baron. Uh, Fajardo transitioning to go for that set. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Baron stopping in the last second. And Von Sickle, who's about to serve, has uh, issued five points. Two to one count here, Petrogas. Reverse one hand on it, but Van Sigel out of position. A great uh, rebound there from uh, the blockers, but uh, Van Sickel just couldn't get into that ball on time. Sam Corrales is somewhere in this building. Go ahead, Sam. You mentioned it during the broadcast that Jonas Abete has been absolutely on fire at the start of this game for the Petrogas Angels. And maybe that's because of the confidence she is getting from Coach Koji. Sabi niya sa akin, she is always learning something new for him. And that is so refreshing to hear from a veteran like her. Hindi na daw masyadong nakatutok sa kanya si Coach sa mga drills. Because he believes that this vet already has two things, skill and a strong body. Kaya sabi ni Jonah, he's now challenging her mindset and mental toughness now that all aspects are checked. Ayel and Sir Seb, what do you think about her impact so far on this game? Experience a PVL action on Filipinas Live for 149 pesos a month. Back to you. No question about it, Sam. <laughs> the uh, impact has been impressive and you can't ignore her. She's there. Oh, well, for uh, PLDT, definitely she's that a big problem. They need to find answers as soon as possible. You know, Petrogas has learned how to maximize its mm. elements, its weapons. And look at this. There's a mistake by Remy Palma. It was a regalo, but he misjudged it completely. A good intention to avoid the net and floor defense, but uh, too much angle for her. 
fascinating how volleyball coaches have the time to take down notes <laughs> during the game. During the game, some do it digitally. Coach Koji likes to open that uh, playbook of his. Oh, look at that, and it's out. Davison makes it four to three. Let's watch this. No great effort there from uh, Barbon, but uh, that gave uh, PLDT a chance ball. Great effort from Palma to try to close the block, yes. but uh, a bit too late there. We are knotted at four, by the way. Pontilla is foiled, unable to hoist it back up, and PLDT has the lead right now. Uh, that was read well by De Leon and Davison. And th this is... Uh, how PLDT and Petrogas started but uh, in the first set, but somehow Petrogas uh, found momentum and uh, took good control of the game. So for PLDT, they shouldn't allow Petrogas to gain that big lead early on the yes, set. Yes, and uh, the confidence of Petro mm -hmm. just soars when they are in charge of the match. As we spot Davison, Van Sickle, Pontilias, that southpaw stab of hers in play. Davison, Sabeta says, got it. And look at this, well done by G side. That's a perfect set by mm. G. And the perfect execution there, coming from that, that great dig from Sabete and that back quick, a simple play for them. Again, those power tips are difficult to defend because it's so much faster. You have to be there on time to be able to dig it. Because the lakas kaya mo pay manage, kaya nung ginawa ni Van Sigel niya. But the angle, the mm. might be a little harder. Fajardo keeps it in play. Stretch by side. Pontilla says, let me set this up. Sapul, the antenna. <laughs> Petrogas uh, clearly scrambling in that uh, sequence. It was uh, Maizo Pontilla setting up Sabete from the right pin. Uh, too much out of the antenna. Sabete could not adjust anymore. <laughs> Tao lang, hanggang ko lang kaya ko. Hindi ko naman may stretch. Ano ko, pretzel? But uh, good effort pa rin. Mm. Oh! Oh! Palma apologizing to Jesse De Leon. Quickly. And again, Petrogas has been really playing fast volleyball. It, Not just in the wings, uh, but even in the middle. Kung may zero temperature beer, zero... <laughs> Zero speed, zero tempo, ginagawa nitong uh, Petro eh. And credit that to the good setters of uh, Petrogas and Janel uh, Cheng and uh, Chisa. Mga veterana. Mm. Jonah with a smile after that tap. And that's out of reach. That will give PLDT a slight lead at 7-6 here in the second. A tighter start here as uh, Davison off the hands of uh, Palma. Uh, that was the ninth point of Davison. Again, carrying the bigger load here yeah, for PLDT. We can expect her to hit about close to 20, I think, here today. In the meantime, uh, side keeping it very much alive. Palma says no chance for us to do anything. The reverse set. Pontilias with two hands on it. Palma, no, not this time. One more time around the block. Side swings it to the other end. And alive, no whistle, we play on. Sayed, steady in the middle. Ball is still alive. And it dies in the water. Kinoa sa tiyaga ng Petro. Exactly, great show of patience here for the Petrogas Angels. That was the sixth point of Van Sickle. A lot of uh, pushes, a lot of uh, yeah. slow touches, yeah. but it was Van Sickle who got that point to finish that rally. Here's Palma, the captain. Too short, it is. And with that service mistake, BLDT has the upper hand that sends us into the technical timeout, the first of the second.
Arena Plus, Astig Sports. Sam Salmenta, Ayala Stranier, and Sam Corrales taking care of your second scheduled game here today at the Phil Sports Arena. 8 7 is the count here. Thank you for watching us wherever you're catching the Premier Volleyball League. Davison is at the service area. They lead by one here. Good even match, actually. One is the mirror image of the other. Ceballos. Alive. Sabi ni Puntiles. Ba't pa ako makalukod? Lukod dito buong araw. Tinas ni Aiza. Sayet. Hello. Bakbaka nito. Just a step lane. The credit have that point to Maizo Pontilias, who was very excellent in the defense, extending that arm. A missed opportunity there from PLDT to get that point from the chance ball. But a miscue there to finish the rally between Ceballos and Cat Arado. Syed continues to play, although she did not start here today. Oh, 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 oh. Wala pang Pasko, pero parang Pasko na. And Van Sickle za zapping it in. Oh, Van Sickle uh, slowly starting to be aggressive and explosive in this set. We mentioned it earlier, we're only seeing those pushes, those placement, but right now... They're waxing hot already. Mm. Oh, and that's a service ace. Van Sickle, by the way, has already attributed or uh, has already accounted rather for eight points. Watch this. Service ace there. Uh, perfect target to make uh, Davison move and stretch her body. And we're going to slide into a timeout called by Coach Raud. Gawa ka ng team, ano? Sama-sama mo si Raldry Caport, si Shaq de Los Santos. <laughs> Pare-pareho yung tono nila. Ano? And they try to make the game as simple mm -hmm. as possible. Uh, and uh, Coach Raldry Caport mentioning there that a side out is very important at this moment. They want to get a good first ball and, and convert right uh, away. Interestingly enough, we also won a title with the team on mm -hmm. the other side of the floor. That is blocked away and out. And a simple execution there for and Santos. That was her first point off of the hands of Van Sickle. Erika Santos, a starter, but uh, just uh, getting her hmm. first point, as you mentioned. 10-9 tally. Petrogas still in the lead. Barbon is there. Pontilias just alert. Van Sickle. Put some heat on it. Fiola. Syed says, let's return it to Van Sickle. Barbon is there. Ayaw mamatay ng bola. Kinukukuha ng PLDT sa tiyaga. Oh, sabete. And that is gone. Uh, that was a uh, great floor defense from uh, PLDT. Spike of the set brought to you by Justin Masalubong ng Bayan, courtesy of Erika Santos. Sabete was there, but could not contain that powerful attack from Santos. <laughs> oh, out. Sabi ni Coach, sabi nila kay Coach Koji, pakai-challenge mo nga, sir. Black touch, ang pakiramdam uh, ng mga players. And usually the players are the best people who can see it sometimes. Maizu Pontilias going down the line there. Referee asking Ceballos if there was a check. Ceballos was saying, no check. So let's see if this challenge will be successful. My suggestion still holds. There should be dancers during the challenge. <laughs> diba? Ay, iba klaseng stretch ang ina. Oh, ito, ito. Ano ang tingin mo? Wala, layo. Nope. 
Clearly not touching the forearm of Ceballos. Coach Koji to Zurabara. Baron serve. Barbon is there. Van Sickel gives them something to work with. And we're not at 11. No, well, Van Sickel from the right pin, the previous sequence. And, uh, right now, Petrogas, uh, their strong rotation with Sabete in the front row. And Van Sickel has already registered that many points. Tina as Naku, dead in the water in play now. Saet, Sabete, nice try. Hindi mo bola yun. Parang sinasabi ni Coach Koji, hindi mo bola yun. And that was read well by Santos guarding the cross-court attack of Sabete. Oh, that can give PLDT some confidence oh, here. I agree. In the meantime, that's not going to boost any confidence with a service error. A PLDT should uh, be more careful in that service line because uh, they're starting to get the rebound, slow down the offense oh, of Petrogas, but no, they can't Mamatay kill their own momentum. They can kill their own momentum. They can kill their own momentum. They Rejected, reset, reconfigured. Ooh. Oh, that connects. No great coverage from PLDT in that first attempt of Ceballos, but uh, Marzo Pontilias and Palma pressing the hands in in that second attempt. So we're having uh, good exchanges here. Taku. Ang dami patay na bola ng, ano, no, ng PLDT. Watch this. Petrogas are making sure that they're serving strong. Putting PLDT out of system a lot of times here. And the Coron continues to serve. High off the blockers. That punches through. Sabete continues to be prolific. Now both uh, Fajardo and De Leon were still in transition. Malapit na tayong maubusan ng linya sa score sheet para kay Jonas Sabete, who has now registered nine. De Makulangan returns to the match. An early double sub here for uh, PLDT. It has been a 4-0 run so far for the Petrogas Angels. The Coron consistent in that service line. Good chase down, good effort that time. Bedonia, by the way, we mentioned mm -hmm. is already in the game. This will not work. Uh, too short there for Palma, but great effort from side to extend her arms. See Remy, you know, nakakatuwa. Parang she was made for this role. Mm -hmm. Just uh, naturally, they never thought that she would be such a vociferous captain. In the meantime, that serve does not go anywhere. And I think we're going to pause for the second technical break. It's Petrograd leading. They took the first set as well, 25-16. Tutok na sa Analog TV Channel 9, TV uh, Channel 19 at uh, 183 sa higit. 300 cable at satellite providers nationwide. That's a signal play. 
So that was another service error putting Petragas in the second technical timeout here for PLDT. If they don't improve their serving, yes. it will continue uh, to be difficult for them. You know, what's been happening is PLDT has been shooting itself in the mm. foot here. Not literally, but uh, they've mishandled the volleyball, actually. The starter, Cheng, is back on the floor. Davison. Sabete calmly. Sabete gets it back and it's hit out. And uh, Sabete continues to be that explosive attacker for uh, the Angels. Already in double digits. Uh, that was her 10th point. Meanwhile, on the side of PLDT, uh, Davison has been read well. So we're waiting for that uh, other player to step up in terms of scoring. Davison. And she gets that to bite. Now Davison continues to uh, put in the points for PLDT. Now just like Sabete, that was her 10th point. Del Palomata all set to serve, awaiting the uh, authorization from the referee. Cheng sends it to the other side. Pablo's attempt. Oil. Sabete. Ang tulis to mira ni Sabete. Cheng. Good dig. Barbon. Hello. Battle at the net. We play on. Net touch. Net touch. From Baron admitting that. We've talked about the good offense of uh, the Petragas Angels, but we haven't mentioned Barbon and Tempiatura, who has been performing so well in terms of floor I defense. Think, good point. In the meantime, Nicole Chamzon darts in as a server, replacing uh, Sabete. Davison cuts it up. That's be that will be eleven. Uh, Davison with a simple play, not a lot of power. That uh, just putting that right amount of spin to get that point off the hands of Pablo. And you are absolutely correct. Another scorer has to emerge for this PLDT team. Chang. And it's hammered down by Van Sickle. It's a battle. It's a battle of off the blocks here. Yes. Both teams just really trying to outsmart each other. Van Sickle joins the ten-point party with her first arrival at the ten-point mark. Her arrival there, and Coach Raul is looking for that spark plug. Here comes the captain. They're going to Davis. Ooh. Oh, that died, died, died in the water. A great effort from Tiam Zone to get that uh, dig. But uh, Van Sickle was in transition to go for offense there. No oh, one point, yeah. got that second ball. Ready to see Van Sickle. Mm. Teka muna, wala pa tayo ano, wala pa music, huwag muna kayo sasayaw. Ito, si Davison, si Savvy. In the meantime, here we go, Chang. Pablo, it's handled well by PLDT. On the floor, they keep the ball in play and it's hit out. Ang <laughs> ganda ng ilay ni Van Sickel. Now Van Sickle with 11 points already. So uh, that's a big support no, in terms of scoring. Van Sickle and Sabete teaming up in terms of scoring production. But uh, we have to keep on mentioning that it has only been Davis on the side of uh, PLDT. Yes. Baron tries mm. to join. And Majoy, who has mastered that middle, takes care of scoring that point. Now that was uh, the third point of uh, Majoy Baron with an A-quick attack. Maximizing that length. 
Fajardo to Baron, now playing uh, <laughs> with a different team, of course. No, but, but a very familiar yeah. tandem. And that's off two defenders there. No, Cheng continues to go to Van Sickle. Why not? Because uh, she's losing. Mm -hmm. And the PLD, they're able to read that. But the loose blocks, really, they need to improve that. They need to press the, their hands in. And uh, Coach uh, Roderick Fort mentioned that also in the and, timeout earlier. Right, that's the right. blockers. He's uh, not at the yeah. net. And that's inside. Santos getting some production going. Oh, Santos has been uh, that uh, support for uh, Davison. That was her fifth point. They need somebody to get into mm -hmm. that 10 point range as well. Thomas Cotrolde, we need that side out, that serve to be in our hands. That'll work. Now, Bedonia with her, her first point could be the game changer here for PLDT. That's why Coach Koji says, I would like to correct this. I would like to stop this right now before Keisha gets hotter and hotter. In the meantime, let's tune in. there an important time out for him he would want to stop the momentum of a PLDT uh, here yes. because it's just a two-point game if I can't express it to you I'll show it to you visually mm. what's happening right now you know <laughs> they're making the game very simple mm. and for PLDT they're starting to get the rebounds so uh, the floor defense has also need to support their net yeah. defense here. So they need to find their rhythm in this game for PLDT. It's Morente getting uh, permission from uh, referee Josie to uh, get into the game. It's madali pa itong... Mas mahirap ito, parang kumuha ka ng visa sa Australia, no? Foreign embassy, ibang foreign embassy na mahirap eh. May mga maraming requirements. Samantala, ito sinisimple ang laro. 22-19, free ball in play. Nilipat sa kabila. Oh, putong-puto. Tinapik. Nice kid to the floor by Santos. Oh, cargado, sarado. Now Van Sickle has been uh, solid in the floor defense, but this time Davison with the right target, right angle. No one there on the side of Petrogas Angels. Putas, naputas. Uh, Petro dos eksena ng yung dalawa lamang ng Petrogas. Bedonia serving play. Hello, Remy Palma. An open block there for Remy Palma. Davison jumping with Cheng. Oh, look at that. Parang sumakay ng Honda motorcycle si uh, Remy Palma. <laughs> and that movie is brought to you by Honda motorcycle. Cheng. Block, but not enough. Davison powering through the blockers of Petrogas Angels. Bakit ang mga coaches? Pagka hindi... Hindi po mapasok yung block. <laughs> Lahat ng coaches sa assistant, sabay-sabay, yung dalawang kamay nila ito mga taas na <laughs> Parang may magagawa pa sila, no? Tapos na eh. De. Instant uh, uh, feedback. Inst instinct nila yun. Hala, hello, Myla, sumigaw. No chance Chen. here. Si Remy, tapik-tapik lang eh, oh. Davison, kargado, tinaas ni Morente. Ah, matagal, second longest rally. Oh, 
Oh, the tapos! Well, Fajardo has been trying to put Davison in the middle to give her more space for offense. Smart move there. Only one blocker for her. Easy outing. Galing ni Kim Fajardo dyan. Mm. Yung isasayaw yung mga blocker. Idudu yan ko kayo dyan. Coach Koji will uh, discuss matters. Simplihan natin to parang sinasabi niya. Patapos na tayo eh. Huwag <laughs> natin pahirapan to. Now, I've been uh, struggling to understand Coach Koji in his time out. But uh, what's important here is that his players understand his instructions. I so. I think so, yep. <laughs> And... Uh -oh. <laughs> Challenge. Challenge. Ball in, ball out. Two or three Japanese coaches tayo na nandito. Alam po, Farm Fresh, may consultant sila. At NXLED, meron din silang coach na. At least, may 90 dead tayo. Kaya tayo bundit dati, wala tayo. Happy, happy. Ito, ball game, ball out. It comes at a very, very critical stage of the second set. Parang may ang dami ang hill diba? Well, a very crucial challenge here for the Petragas Angels. It's out by a mile. That'll break them. Set mm. a really good challenge and good sense of urgency on the side of the players. You can't tell from Coach Scotty's expression whether he was happy or not with the <laughs> successful challenge. Excellent serve. That's inside. The LD continues to fight away. And that uh, play continues to be effective for a PLDT. Davison in the middle, changing angles, changing target this time. Yes, indeed. Fajardo with the serve. Still at set point for Petro. And we're done. Van Sickle. Making life so simple with 13 points and a win here in a much closer second mm. set. The PLDT executing better, performing better in that set, but uh, the tandem of Van Sickle and Sapete has been deadly on the side of the Petrogas Angels. And uh, Van Sickle continues to wax hot. Team playing solidly defensively as well. PLDT had their chances, but Petrogas just capitalized on their own assets here. And at the end of two sets, we find Petrogas with the lead to Lob, and we'll have the third set ready for all of you very shortly.
Petro Gas needing a little less than an hour to gain a two set to love advantage here in the match. They're uh, hoping uh, to give PLDT its mm. first loss in the tournament so far. And I have to agree with Ariel Estreniero that in that set, PLDT had their chances, but they mm. could not hang on to them. Well, that's true. They played better in that uh, set, talking about PLDT. Better execution. Davison continues to be that bright spot. Cap with uh, some smart plays towards the end stretch of that set, but it was not enough against the team effort of the Petragas Angels. Van Sickle and Zabete in double digits right now. Barbon and Tepetura manning the defense. Palma and the Coron as effective decoys. And Coach Rald Ricafort mentioned that earlier on the side of PLDD. They need to find a way to side out. They need to find a way to produce their own points because so far, Davis on leading the team in 15 points. And the second best score is Santos with the five points. So someone really has to step up in the side of a PLDT. On, as... the other, on the other side, the man may mga mm. as a 10 points, 10 points na, no? Sino sino ba yung mga yan? Well, Sabete with 12, and Sickle with 13, and Palma with uh, 6 points support as we take a look at the numbers. Not a lot of disparity still on uh, the attack points, but uh, both teams uh, really trying to play clean with only 5 errors. Really, it's just a matter of a PLDT, the timing of the errors, minimizing the errors, and the finding that a spark plug, as you've mentioned earlier, that uh, next man up for the high-speed hitters. How long you want to find out on the players on the floor, see the mm -hmm. next one up Nayan, Pipardo and uh, Davison beginning to discuss business and we need to recover here. We're down two sets to love. Well, for a PLDT, if uh, they want to, uh, to score more points earlier, uh, Putting uh, Davison in combination plays has been effective. Uh, that could be one strategy that could work well for them. Set number three stepping in. See Coach Radnaman, no? Uh, tablet. Hindi pwede mainiti ng ulo mo as volleyball coach. Sipin mo kung magdadabog ka, ibabato mo tablet. Marang masyadong mahal. Ala, regalo. Da. Down the line, Isa Maisa Pontilius loves Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. now we mentioned this in the pregame. This is the first test of a PLDT against a veteran team of Petragas Angels. Donya getting it down low, and Brand Siegel puts a hand on it. No, off speed directly on the hands of a Van Sickle. Strong start here for Petragas Angels. Uh, this is uh, not the position that PLDT would want to be in the start of the set. And of the, at the start of the tournament, mm -hmm. we're in major na identify that it, if you play defense on this team, shut down the others, and just let Davison go crazy, you may be able to score a win against them. It's still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Bedonia, Kim, Majoy, Chi. And let's send it to Sam Morales for an update. Kakarada told me that the PLDT high speed hitter spent an hour in viewing to study their opponents today. But as you mentioned, Ayel, the high speed hitters had their moments in that last set, but they still need to find their groove sooner rather than later. Isalang ang nasa isip ni Kakarado, and that is to get as many balls as possible to take the pressure out of her outside hitters. Sabi niya, it's not just for stats, but because yun lang ang trabaho niya for the team. Kath also shared with me that they focused on receives and blockings and out of system play. So let's see if they can turn things around in this set. Catch this and more on the Filipinas Live app for 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Ayala and Tercel. Thank you very much, Sam Corrales, patrolling uh, the sidelines here at the Phil Sports Arena. Cut shot in play. Fajardo. Oof. Alamo, they're still in us getting to know you. Mm. Stage, uh, when Kim is with players she is familiar with, mm -hmm. she can spread the butter as soon as possible. She's in that getting to know you process. Man. Yeah, but though we're seeing some misconnections yeah. with the other players. Van Sickle is there to serve. 4 1. 
And you know, Petragas Angels uh, really trying to avoid Cat Arado here, targeting other players in the passing formation. The reason why PLDT is a bit struggling in their passing, and uh, passing right now is going to be very important for them. So someone also has to step up in that uh, department. One of the most difficult spheroids or balls to control is the volleyball. Unlike a tennis ball, perhaps, or a baseball, volleyball is hard to control in service because you're not passing it with your two hands on the surface. But talking about control, great ball control there from Santos with a tower tip, seeing the donut hole in the floor defense of Petrogas. Magaling this si Petrogas, they managed to contain their miscues. Mm. Not too many of them, but that is a bad pass. Palomata gets it to connect, but it's still very much in play. Santos, Kim checks the horizon. Ah, hammer time! Oh, Palomata with that explosive attack. The height and length there, hard to defend. Nakatuano, when she does that, we reminisce mm -hmm. Karandang. <laughs> And the tall women put a hammer on it. This one on the floor nearly, but kept in play. Here we go. Oh, is it out? It's out. Sabete. And Sabete recognized that Santos was already late in trying to go for that block. Tried to hammer it, beating the blockers, but uh, looks like too much angle there. Jonah feels that uh, there may have been a touch. It, uh, Screamed out. Well, she was intentionally going for the hands of Santos. Yes. Yan ba yel kita sa taas magkapapalo ka? Kita mo yung kamay. Well, with the, with the athleticism, uh, the elevation of these players, really, when they're on top of the ball, they're able to see where they can attack, where they can maximize their angles. Could it be off the hands of the loose blocks or it could be a certain angle that is open? So fascinating given the amount of time you have before gravity takes over you know, and pulls you back down very quickly. So a matter of muscle memory also as this challenge is being sorted out. Earlier in that uh, last end stretch of uh, the second set, uh, they had a good challenge. Mm. <laughs> but on service in play, one point lead by the Angels, make that a two point lead right now. No, but for PLDT, no matter how much they try to serve strong, the passing of Petragas has been very stable with Sabete and Van Sickle with Barbona manning the defense. And the Liberas have hardly made mistakes mm. here today. Takron. Fajardo. And it's out. So slowly here, we're seeing Santos stepping up for the high-speed hitters. Santos in her serve. We are in play, and that's messed up by Petro Gas, and it's tied at six. Back-to-back well, -back points for Santos. Targeting Van Sickle there. She was in the possession, just too much power in that serve of Santos. Van Sickle doing a better job of digging that up. In the meantime, it's stretched for Fajardo sets it up. Ceballos gets it to buy. Ceballos uh, powering through the blockers. So slowly we're seeing players contributing points here from different sources mm. now, no? it's not just uh, Davison so that's going to be vital for uh, the run of uh, PLDT one-handed set does not work cleanly that's a miss 
and the Angles are not favoring Petro Gas here in the third. And BLDT arrives at the technical break ahead of Petro Gas for the first time in the match here today. Back in a moment. Kalimutan Arena Plus, Astig Sports, and currently our score is 8 6 here in the third. First two sets going to Petrogas. Now, we had two players that we wanted to mix and match. Let's take a look at what they've done so far. Well, uh, it has been Davison and Van Sickle for their teams. Davison with 16 points, carrying the bigger load for the PLDT high speed hitters. Meanwhile, Van Sickle with uh, 17 points, but uh, getting a lot of support from Sabete with 12 points. As we continue with set number three, Sabete, Kim Fardo uses everything in her anatomy to keep mm -hmm. that in play. Whoa, red hot shot. Is that Remy Bala? Mm -hmm. She is unstoppable in that middle. Now Palma with a short run. Big gap in between the blockers. For the Petrogas Angels, they rely a lot on their wing attackers, but whenever they need a spark plug or an impact from the middle, they're always ready to score a point. Palma with seven so far. And a regalo pounce by the center, Chisayan. The veteran. Tito Matanda. <laughs> Some miracles still happen in this world. Billy Bakwen, Regime Federi touched in. And she's already coached. Mm -hmm. Hello. I mean this. Pasok ba? Oi, pasok, 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 pasok. So right now we're seeing more variety in the attacks of the high speed hitters. Uh, Sebalius there outsmarting the floor defense in that last sequence. Close and tight here in the third. Sabete. Got it. Got that line. Finally, Sabete and that down the line attack. He's been attempting to target that zone one. Oh, finally found that small space in between calf and the, the antenna. Sana yung G-Cash kung gaya ni Sabete. Wala eh. Babawas ng babawas. 13. 13 points. Tim John in to serve. Familiar role for her in this team. Uh-oh. Oh. Red Hot and Davison. Anytime you jump mm. for a dig, it's usually a mistake that will happen. Oh, that's because uh, you're not stable forces you to not have the best control over the ball, and that's what happened to Davison there. And 80% of digging is knees. 20% mm -hmm. hand rhythm. Oh, oh, look at that, Tamson keep it very much in play. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah the irony <laughs> of life. The irony of this game. <laughs> that was a tough angle from Tamson. It was so tempting. Mm. But that was a great dig from her. Ito, Very stable. Ito, tapos ito. Hindi hira ako ipasok papaluin ko to. Oh, but here comes BLDT with those service mistakes again. Same story here from that second set. Exchanging points. Petrogas. They have a two-set-to-love lead here in this match. Mm. That's solid. Sizzling hot from Davison. Davison uh, elevating in the previous sequence. 
And we are even at 11. And Sickle. Joust at the net. Catarado, active hands to the back row. It is out. Oh, Davidson trying to look for the hands of the blockers, but it wasn't there. Just trying to push it. Chi side also to serve. Decision from Arado to let that ball go in the last second. We've got a challenge here. Again, uh, we are in the uh, preliminary phase of our uh, All Filipino tournament. No, where every game is very important yep. because uh, in the elimination round, it's only single round the Robin. Only top four teams will move forward to the semifinals. Another single round in the semifinals. So every game is going to be very important. Successful, huh? Look at, look at uh, Davison. Davison's expression, he's shocked. That could be decisive. Mm -hmm. right? Petrogas now with some separation, a two point lead here in the third. Manageable for Tiamzon. Van Sickle hammers it through, and the uh, blockers became ungainly mm -hmm. as they tried to recover their posture, and they were torn apart by the power of the block. Three point lead. Coach Rod with the. Uh, Issue new instructions for the PLDT side. Ang kukunin natin yung line niya, hindi yung line niya. Kasi pag sa antena mo, pinatay, oh, wala ka, wala ka sa pwesto. Francesca Ramos and uh, Sola Alvarez. Ay, nasa TV tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Pinakailaman yung usapan ng dalawa. 14-11. Close to the net, Baron gets the corner. She's done that time and again. Good activation there in the middle for PLDT with a slight attack from a Joy Baron going down the line. Sipin mo nung araw na magkakamuli sila ni Abby Maranyo. Gagawin sa'yo ni Maranyo, pwede rin gawin sa'yo ni Baron. Ito kargado. Yung Van Sigel continues to pile up the points. For Van Sickle, that was her 17th, that was her 18th, 19th point for Van Sickle. Sa dami, sa, da, sa dami, nalilito tayo. Yung kamay, yung kamay ng scorer natin, kulang na eh. Kulang na yung daliri niya. You know, but for Van Sickle, <laughs> she's not even avoiding the blockers right now, just really powering through. Yes, she wants to go home. Mm. Fiola creative, excellent pancake. Kept alive. Van Sigels lets it fly. Good, lively exchange here. Cut up. Well done by Santos. Oh, Santos has been uh, stepping up for PLDD here. He's probably the other scorer mm -hmm. that they need. Smart move there to slow things down. And she has contributed nine points for the cause of PLDD here today. PLDT though down still by two here in the third. Nice game. <laughs> Papa kaila man kusana, pero naramda man kusi kin. Oh. What a save by Kim Hard. Mm -hmm. Great hustle there, but the Van Sickle. Look at this save. 
I'm there. <laughs> Underneath. And I say hi, Kim. Oh, but Petrogas maximizing the chance ball. And we have... This is the timeout. Yes, we do have a... The technical timeout. We'll be back. with Mark Fingers and Gilas Legends tackling their life stories on and off the board. Puso to Puso, exclusives of Filipinas Live app. Download and register now for free. 16.13 po ang bilang natin. We've got a good one here, a delicious one. Petrogas in command of the rhythm and the movement of the game. PLDD trying to stay alive here. And that is going to work for Yola Cebagos. With Palomata in the front row and her being a threat in the middle, Palma has to stay with her. The reason why Ceballos with an open block there in the cross court angle. Success for PLDT because mm. they confused the defense. They're mm -hmm. too close to the net, problematic, but kept in play. Bourbon with an excellent job. This one is a dink that does not work. Tension there from uh, Ceballos, uh, seeing Isa Pontillas ready for a power hit. You know, the alternating liberos, mm -hmm. Barbon and Wen and Jelly Tempiatura has worked well, mm -hmm. huh? There seems to be no difference mm -hmm. when they eat and they alternate. And you see that the net defense and the floor defense of Petragas is in sync. Good the point. reason Good why point. everything is uh, really working well for them, easier for them to execute, but this time, uh, service error from Chen. Saka dahil dyan sa magandang defense nila, lumalambot yung bola eh. Pag lumalambot ang bola, piyesta ka setter. Which is the whole point of sending the ball, good first ball, mm. to your setter. You were saying? Ay, 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 nalunod si Myla. And uh, Pablo did not connect in the previous rally. So a free point here for the Petragas Angels. Pontillas and Syed returning Cheng and Pablo dart out. You know, na develop nila yung system that that's well in okay lang kay Cheng at kay Syed nagpapalit. Mm -hmm. And then they developed the system that works for them, you know. And which is the whole point of coaching, really. One point lead by Petragas. Ceballos. That's blocked away. You know, Barbon has been very reliable in the passing for Petrogas Angels. The reason why Saed can activate the middles here. Another slide attack for Palma. Lambut ng bola kasi pagdating sa kanya, you know? Pwede niyang uh, send kahit saan. Mm. Kahit sa Amerika siguro. Eh. Oh! Good counter by Sammy Davids, Davidson, rather. And uh, Palomata continues to be an effective decoy there. there Again. In this fight of the set, let's see by Duncan. Pasalubong ng bayan. Palomata serving from way back there. Barbon is there. Ooh. That is a slicer. Mm, a sharp cross court attack from Van Seco. But Dave is an out of position in the previous rally. Nobody defensively mm. was there. Pet Petro Gas is the one calling the timeout. Let's uh, see what uh, Coach Koji has in mind. Just me. Yes. 
two, bro. Okay. Take a two point. Kunti, two point. Uh, so now it's a joyful United Nations in the Petrogas camp with uh, Van Sickle, who is learning her Filipino. The rest of the guys there, are all, most of them are college graduates. They, they know their English. Well, Koji is mastering both English and <laughs> Filipino and Japanese at the same time. Joyful, joyful camp. And it works. Net, 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 net. Boy, here we go with Petrogas making some big steps towards the end line. Another missed opportunity for PLDT oh, there with a, get cover with a good coverage of Santos, but another unforced error. They're still trying to get used to playing mm. together. Oh, look at this. This is a messy first ball. And Coach Ralph can only look skyward. This team now down by four. Palma getting the service ace off the hands of Ceballos. Si Remy Palma, parang nagtitikto sa mga dapat yun pag naglalaro, pag nagtutuwa siya. Pakinig tayo. Walang pag-uusapan na, talagang receive lang talaga muna tayo. Tapos pagbalik, yung parking na lang muna. Kahit yung dalawa lang na yun. Ha? Ang kinin nyo na pag... Hey, contact pa lang. Di pa And that was a very short time out for Coach Roderick for just saying na kailangan nila ng first ball right now. They need good passing to get that momentum and get that flow back on their side. PLDD putting the, on the line its 2 and 0 oh win loss card. So far, four other teams are part of that 2 and 0. Oh. Signal is 2 and 0. Oh. Choco Mucho as well. Beamline and Cherry Tigo. And that'll all change later on when Cherry Tigo plays Choco Mucho. Pardo to serve. Down currently by 3. It is playable. The cut shot tracked down by Sabete. Van Sicko. T. Syed makes them pay. Also, uh, Petrogas here inching closer in uh, getting uh, this game. Well, I will. Walang, uh, po, walang spike na four points eh. You just have to play one point at a time. It looks like there's a challenge, you know? Is there? No, a net uh, touch challenge called by PLDT against that one-two play from uh, Chisa at uh, taking advantage of an Ayon overpass. Uh -huh. Did she touch the net? Net fault or is it uh, back row? They're trying to check if uh, there was really that net touch from Chisaid. By uh, Relea Ferina Sai. Oh, no, I don't know. Well, it looked like it was uh, the ball. Well, time challenge referee and uh -huh. it'll, no, it'll stay. Mm. The play will. It'll stay. Captain Catarado, the discussion. Is it? They're discussing. Go, uh, referee Josie is. Uh, <laughs> mm. uh, we, we were talking about that in the uh, production room earlier. Uh, she is not sure also. Mm -hmm. She wants confirmation. You know, I love uh, referee Josie when she calls the game. She mm -hmm. runs a very tight ship. 
And uh, kahit sa BNL, no, siya ay mm -hmm. nagsa-second referee kuminsan. Siguro via PLDT sila nag-uusap. <laughs> Nag-uusap uh, sila. Up, oh, ito, 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 ito po. Mm. Ayun. Ayun ang mm. issue. Kung yun ang angulo. Parang duda si referee Josie and, and she's talking to Kat Arada right now. The call will stay. Well, so now the challenge for PLDT is how they can stay composed after that crucial challenge. I think the point was already scored mm. when that happened. In the meantime. Ah, Galit, Cherica. <laughs> Galit, Cherica. Tama yung huddle ng PLDT kanina. Hindi pa tapos siya. That's true. And you know, the wing attackers in the middle, attacking in the middle continues to be effective here for PLDT. Don't mess around with Erica Santos. Ano? Parang... Big mistake if you mess around with mm -hmm. it. Van Sickle through the traffic downstairs. Brings them to 23-19. Well, you know, you can't leave just one blocker in front of Van Sickle. She's been going to the sharp cross a lot of times. You need to slow her down. Kailangan no second blocker. Mm -hmm. no? But it, they're setting it so quickly, no, there's no time. Yeah for that uh, second uh, blocker to come in play. In the meantime, a messed up serve. It's a 23-20. Coach is making some situational mm. subs as of the moment. Some a small window here for PLDT. In play. Into the back row, some confusion. Davison gets to it. The whip in play. The strike, the battle. It's in play, no whistle, we play on. Fajardo. Finally, a whistle ends the madness. A great effort from the floor defense yes. of the Petrogas Angels. Eto, whoa! Whoa! Petrogas will utilize the timeout. And they lost in that exchange, really. It was already on the floor. So, no, no work. Easy cheat. No work. Hit me, hit me. Okay. Just like in the UAP the other day, Sergio Veloso does not like this <laughs> thinking and the staffing. Coach Scotty also saying, Palo Ijo! <laughs> Looks like he wants his players to be explosive. Yeah. You know, especially that they just need uh, two points to finish this game. Kiseo, who is a late addition to the roster, will be serving a uh, second time for her to serve in the set. Fardo is the captain on the floor right now. It's nice to see Kim in full gear mm. playing after. Ooh. Wow. And we arrive at match point. A costly error there on the side of uh, Kiseo. So uh, PLDT has to play perfect volleyball here, but first they need to side out of the service from the Coron. Alive, long one, but no, it won't make it. And that will do it for this one. A straight sets win by Petrogas. And they, it's a well-crafted win here.
And uh, for Petrogas, really, they limited the offense of PLDT by serving strong, getting the service aces. But uh, for Petrogas, a uh, great playmaking by both setters. Uh, Palma well activated in this game, giving a much needed support in terms of scoring for Van Sickle and uh, Sabete. Just really team effort, uh, great synchronization from net defense to floor defense for the Petrogas Angels. Again, um, uh, this is a veteran team. It was uh, today that PLDT's uh, system has been tested and uh, Petrogas uh, getting this win in straight sets. And they send a very loud message abang nag It's Petrogas sending a very loud message to the rest of the field. We are a contender here. We'll be right back. Just about an hour and a half for Petrogas to win in straight sets against PLDT. Dealing PLDT AL, their first loss mm -hmm. in three starts so far in our All-Filipino tournament. You know, and this game started by uh, Sam Corrales uh, mentioning how Petrogas is coming into this game with the intention to bounce back. And uh, Petrogas just really executing their game plan really well. And uh, that gave them really positive results here. See the best player now. Oh, you have uh, Van Sickle with Sam Corrales right now. Joining me now is our player of the game. We have Brooke Van Sickle of the Petrogas Angels. First of all, Brooke, congratulations on the win. This is a bounce back victory for your squad and also your first time being the player of the game. So I wanted to ask you more about, you know, where did you get that confidence to put up all these points against an initially undefeated team? Yeah, um, you know, every game you just, we had to clear the, you know, we <laughs> didn't do as well against Chocomucho and, you know, coming into the week of practice, we worked hard and, you know, when we look at it, we just have to make sure we take care of our own side. At the end of the day, we can go against whoever, they, they're all good teams, but we have to make sure we take care of ourselves. Speaking of the other teams, earlier you mentioned this killer mentality here in the PVL. This is something new to you. So can you talk more about the level of play you're experiencing so far? Yeah, um, so that killer mentality, it doesn't just go for hitting. Like here, everyone's so scrappy. They have an attitude when it comes with defense. Like people don't want the ball to drop like, with, like without teams earning the point, right? So you really have to work hard for it and have that killer mentality to be able to score points for your team. And everyone's just all good players. Speaking of players, um, right now in this squad, you are the youngest one on the squad. You used to always be, you know, the leader, the veteran, but what else do you want to improve on? It's going to be a long elimination round. Yeah, I just want to, you know, continue to grow as a player and grow with, like, my, you know, volley IQ and grow with my teammates as well. Um, I want to be there for them as they are for me and just continue to build that relationship and that chemistry and keep going. Exciting things ahead for you and your squad. Once again, congratulations to the Petrogas Angels and our player of the game, Brooke Van Sickle. Back to you, Ayel and Susan. Thank you very much, uh, Sam Corrales. Well done here today. And well done as well by the Petrogas Angels who now um, improve, uh, ano na sila? 2-1, no? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, some highlights from the match just concluded. Well, for Petrogas Angels, clearly they controlled the game. There were some sparks on the side of PLDT, but again, it wasn't enough at, as it was only Davison producing the points and uh, Santos came in a little bit too late in the game, but for the Petrogas Angels, really an all-around game for everyone from offense to defense. 
they really executed the, their game plan really well as uh, we take a look at the numbers for uh, this match. Uh, 41 attack points for PLDT against the 46 of the Petrogas Angels. Not a lot of disparity as, you know, the second set and the third set was a bit close. Four blocks for Petrogas. They were more in sync in terms of a net Correct. defense and floor defense. Only two blocks for PLDT. But really, the service aces of a Petrogas Angels allow them to get that momentum and get that separation in terms of points against the PLDT high-speed hitters. And both teams committing almost the same number of errors in this game. Okay, thank you very much, Ayala Estranero and uh, Sam Corrales for joining us for this first uh, our game here today win by petrogas against pldt in straight sets so still to come we've got another good one happening mm -hmm. here jerry tigo goes up against choco mucho and in behalf of uh, all of us here thank you for joining us for this game a big win by petrogas in straight sets